Hi guys, I'm Bennett and today I'm going to show you the different art supplies that I like to use. Oh, I'm sorry. That's my sister. She's one year old, so she's a little talkative. So, the first thing I want to show do is go into pencils like to use. So, hold on a second. I forgot the paper. Alright, so first off, let's go ahead and go through paper. What I like to use is I like to use this Canson comic art board. It's a really nice paper. As you see, here's this Hulk I drew. Okay, using a different supply that is in this video. And the reason why I like to use it is because, as you see, it's like actual like comic book paper. What's where like you see how like this is forever that I haven't drawn around. It just it's really good paper and it's like good tacked and stuff, so that's why I like to use that. Also I would really like to use these these sketchbooks. These US art supply sketchbooks, they're really good. So I like to use those. Now let's go and move on to pencils. I like to just use these uh, Red Ribbon Week pencils. We get them out of school. I think these big mechanical pencils. They're HB number two. So, yeah, then to set up my page, I like to use these Prismacolor erasable color pencils. So it's pretty much just a blue pencil. I like to kind of use that to set up my stuff. And if I don't have that, like in here, look at this US Art Supply sketchbook. I usually just like to use this one. And now we're going to go ahead and move into pens. So I kind of have them sorted into different pens. We're going to go and start off with brushes. And I'm going to grab a sheet. Yeah, I forgot to set this right here. I could use. Hold on a second. So, the brushes that I like to use, this is mainly what I used to ink. I just got this today for Christmas. These. Pigma brushes. These are very good pen brushes. And hold on a second. Let's just do this real quick where you can see the. So, as you can see, I can get really nice thick lines like this. Show it off. That's like, like that. Get the lines like this. Pretty good. And then, there are these. I used to use these Prismacolor Scholar brush pen but like you can't really get any nice thin stuff that's like real th thin and then kind of like that and also this just feels like a water-based marker so i don't really use that now next is brush pens and i there's only really one brush pen that i like to use and it's this tombow Foden fodenosuke fodenosuke these are really good you can get some real Thin lines with these, you get some thick lines. These are really nice brush pens. So those are the ones I use. Now it's time for some microns. I'm going to go thin it, thickest to thinnest. This is a zero weight Pigma micron. It's the same brand as the Pigma brush, obviously. So you get really good cross hatching techniques with these. So, like, you just I'm ever doing a comic book because I can just get some real nice cross hatching like that. And then there's, of course, these Paper Mate gel rollers. These are really nice ballpoint pens. I like to use ballpoint pens, they just feel nice. And then a Sharpie pen. I don't know what size these Sharpie pens are, but they're really nice. And then to color my stuff, usually what I like to use is are these. Any art uh, glue pens, and of course, Copex markers. I'm Bennett, and I create like to create my own comic books. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, Freddy Fazbear 2010 Comic Art and Gaming. I will be posting a FNAF 1 gaming video. Bye.